Hi everybody, it's time for Facebook Friday. I am excited about today because it's totally out of my comfort zone, um, these sports projects. Um, well, kind of, um, but I think you guys will really like them. So before I get started, of course, I'm gonna run through everything and get um, everybody a few minutes to find me. I'm actually a tiny bit early today for once. And let's make sure, yep, I see myself, so that means I'm in the right place. I see a couple of you jumping on. It makes me nervous. Um, when you start uh, Facebook Live, it takes like maybe 10 seconds for people to find you, and this time it felt like it was taking a little bit longer. But I see you guys jumping on, good. Okay, so let me share this over to, well, if it's gonna let me. Nope, I did not mean to do that. Oh goodness. Oh well, I'm really giving everybody a chance to uh, find me today. I don't wanna share this over on my personal page. So my kids are back at school, you guys. Awesome, right, finally. Okay, let's delete that. Delete, we don't need everybody watching. Just my Stampin' Friends. <laughs> ah, okay. Yes, school has started, thank God. Oh, I am telling you, I love my kids and they are big enough now to where they can entertain themselves, but I just cannot think straight during the summer. Hi guys, yeah, I uh, I don't know. This summer was good, they were good, but you know, we, we uh, make sure I'm changing that to the right place. We um, struggle with the whole entertain yourself while I work but then what are they doing the whole time, right? But now they're back at school and they're exhausted, so yes. My um, middle daughter tried out for volleyball this week and we find out this afternoon and I don't have a good feeling about it. So after I get off with you guys, I'm gonna find out if we're gonna have a terrible weekend or if we're gonna have a wonderful weekend. We'll see. It's hard being a mom, right? And having your kids go through all that, I don't know, it's hard. All right, well I see you guys jumping on, so I'm gonna go ahead and run through. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on all of this today because I've told you guys most of this stuff every week. Um, and I'm back on pick up my daughter at school at 3.15 mode, so I have to be done um, by three o'clock. Um, I wanna remind you about the paper share. This is the paper share from the holiday catalog. The holiday catalog goes live on September 4th. That is Wednesday, right? Um, so hopefully you've gotten a copy in your hands. I, um, anybody who ordered from me in about the last nine months, I sent you one. Um, if you didn't get yours and you think I should have sent you one, just send me an email. I've got them all ready to send out to anybody who needs one. I'm happy to send them. Oh, Suzette from Southwest Florida. I hope you guys are safe. I'm really worried about all of you in Florida. I'm a little bit of a weather nerd, so I've been watching <laughs> the Weather Channel quite a bit the last few days with this big hurricane. So you guys, um, you have to keep us updated. Let us know how you are. But the holiday catalog, if you need one, just let me know. I will send you one if you don't already have one or if you don't have a demonstrator. But in there is a bunch of new holiday ribbon, um, ribbon and paper, and I'm doing a product share. And a product share is where you get a, a piece of it, of all of it. That way you're not spending, I don't know how much all of it would be, $150 to get all the new paper. You can spend a fraction of that and get a sample of all of it to use. And then you'll know which one you like the most and which packs you wanna actually order. Okay, so also same goes with the ribbon. Um, here is the ribbon. And I had a cute person ask me if the spool was included. No, <laughs> not this. This is an antique spool, isn't it cute? from the antique store, so no, it's not included. But my assistant Denise has a cute little way she's gonna package them for you this year. So here's the ribbon, all the beautiful ribbon from the holiday catalog. Um, you get a yard of everything, all the new ribbons um, in the holiday catalog, one yard of each. And um, sign up for both of these is, I'm turning, I'm cutting it off on September 4th, so I can just order all of it right away on the first day, and we can cut it all together. So if you want those product shares, you've gotta sign up before the 4th. Also, if you get both, you're gonna get the puff paint and the, um, oh no, I, I can never, why can I never remember what it's called? You know, the Glossier uh, Accents, what's it called? Is that what it's called? 
I can't remember. But you get two things for free if you get them, both. <laughs> okay? Okay, so that's announcement number one. Announcement number two is the dog days. My dog days special. It's no longer the dog days of summer. It's the first week of school, but it's still summer, and my special is still going. Um, any order over $50 between now and tomorrow, tomorrow's the very last day for that, you get to pick out a set of blends for free. So if you spend $150, you get three sets. Just make sure you get that order in and you use the host code. It's the same host code for today. And email me and let me know which blends that you want. Um, next up is the tutorial bundle. Tomorrow, tomorrow's the last day for a lot of things. I'm getting ready to tell you a lot of things that tomorrow's the last day for. The last day for subscribing to the All Star Tutorial Bundle is tomorrow. So we only, um, we only take subscriptions the first month of each six month round, and that is August. So after tomorrow, you can't subscribe anymore. You get these free when you order $50 or more from my store. So if that's you, you don't need to subscribe. But if maybe you're a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator and you're not gonna order from me, this is a, a fun way to get 12 tutorials delivered to your mailbox every month on the first. And um, I designed one and 11 other amazing demonstrators designed the others. And so you get a really good wide variety of different projects every month using current products. Um, the one that comes out on Sunday is all holiday catalog stuff. So it'll be really neat. Um, so if you wanna subscribe to that, make sure you do it by tomorrow. All of these details, guys, are on today's blog post, as well as the PDF on the back page. All the links are there, pinkbuckaroo.com, in case you're looking for those, okay? Um, one thing I have not mentioned is that the September Paper Pumpkin is Halloween. So if you're like me and you love Halloween, you wanna make sure that you've subscribed for October. I mean, uh, September. September's kit will be the October things and they are 3D items, they've told us. Um, it says for a handmade Halloween, has something to do, I think, with a skeleton hand, I'm not sure. They've been dropping some hints and the box is purple. So that has to be done by the 10th of September. Okay, that's that. I will talk a little bit more about that next week, probably. Um, the Spooktacular Bash Halloween class is open for registration. Six Halloween treats using the Spooktacular Bash stamp set and dies. Um, I have a video over there you can watch to see what the projects are. And of course, there's always four options um, with the stamp set and dies, without the stamp set and dies, PDF only, if you don't want me to send you anything, and for my downline, they always get the make and takes really cheap, okay? Um, speaking of my downline, tomorrow is also the very last day to take advantage of our extra, extra um, starter kit special. Extra, extra means that you get extra dollars in your kit. Um, $155 product of your choice for just $99, free shipping, and then you get 10 more dollars um, in a form of a coupon to spend in September. That ends tomorrow. We have added 33 people to our team in August. Isn't that amazing? People are really taking advantage of this. So it's a great deal. Make sure you've checked it out. If you love the holiday catalog and you know you're gonna wanna buy a lot, buying the starter kit, by the way, right now you can shop the holiday catalog for your starter kit. Um, and then all your purchases through the holiday season are gonna be 20% off. Um, it's like being a preferred shopper, right? So uh, if you're interested in that, if that sounds like something that you wanna take advantage of, make sure you click on the link on the PDF or on my blog or email me and I'll let you know, okay? Um, my snowman season class is done. Um, I told you guys I'm gonna do this class as a fundraiser, and so it's gonna be different than my normal classes. This is going to be a class that I send you for free when you order the products from my online store. Um, it'll be kind of like what we do here, you use a host code, and then I close it, and I order the supplies, I cut them all, and I ship them all at the same time. Um, the reason, well, there's a couple of reasons I'm doing that this time with this class, and that's because this embellishment kit, I'm a little bit nervous about it, that it's gonna go on back order. I have no inside information, it's not even on the Louis inventory list, but I'm nervous that it's gonna be super popular because it's so cute. So that's why I'm doing this class. 
what happens for me is when I order product um, for these classes to send out, I wait, I don't order it until the deadline has passed, and then I go sit down and order everybody's all at one time, and if they're on back order, um, then I'm stuck and I can't ship out the class without all the things that I promised. So this way, you guys can order what you need, and if it's on back order, you can still order it and they'll just ship it when it's ready. And I'll still be able to ship you the class supplies and stuff. So that's why this one's a little bit different. I'm gonna tell you all the details about this class um, probably on Monday. You can't order it until the catalog goes live because you're ordering the products yourself. Um, so that's why it's not up yet. I will have it up on Monday. I, I put it up before the 4th so that you guys know you can prepare. If you're planning on putting an order in on the 4th, you'll know that you need to order this stuff with the host code so you can get this class. Okay? Details coming. But it's really, really cute. I filmed a video for it today showing you how to use this amazing puff paint. It looks like this. I think this is one of my favorite things in the new holiday catalog. Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. It's like, um, I remember when we were kids, there was that crystal growing kit and it, the crystals would, you know, like flower. That's what this is like. You hit it with a heat tool and it turns into like a puffy cloud. It's, it's amazing. So I the class will have a really cool demo um, on how to use that. Um, how to use that. I'm sorry, I'm reading comments and I'm like losing my train of thought. Um, <laughs> not a multitasker. Okay, let's see what else, what else, what else. I think that's all I wanna tell you for right now. Remember that today you have this PDF and um, Kimberly, I'm gonna answer your question. As a demo, can we get the PDF now? Not yet, Monday. That will be available on Monday for you, okay? I'm just kind of, releasing it all at the same time okay it will but yes you will have the option to just get the PDF and all the um, proceeds from both the PDF sales and the sales of the class are gonna go to the Alzheimer's Foundation really cool I'm really excited about it can't wait um, okay so every Friday I pick a product and this week it's for the win and we're gonna make three projects with this and the PDF, if you go right now to pinkbuckaroo.com, the PDF is there, the project spe specifications are there, everything that you need. If you're watching this in the replay or you watch it on YouTube, the direct link will be right in the description, okay? So if you're not watching live, just click that link and it'll take you right over. Um, you also, if you put in an order, I think that's where I started going before I got distracted. If you put in a $35 minimum order by Monday, which is September 2nd. I'm gonna send you the make and takes for free, okay? And this is kind of what our make and takes have looked like the last few weeks. If you did last week's uh, make and takes, they just went out um, because I had to order everybody's blends. So they're late, they're running late. Um, but anyway, you get the, everything that you need to make the projects except for the stamp set and the ink and the adhesive, obviously, okay? All right, so that's the deal today, same thing. Um, Oh, I need to do prizes. I almost always forget to do prizes. Every week, I go back and I pick um, some some people at random who shared the video on Facebook, and I give away prizes. So last week, I had a host set, two of them, called New Wonders, along with a bolt of ribbon. So Arlene Palacios and Kathy West, you are my winners this week. I believe I have both of your email, or your mailing addresses, I believe. Okay, so congratulations, ladies. Thanks so much for sharing um, the video. This week, I'm kind of excited about this one. Do you guys remember this? You always deliver. We just did this two weeks ago. This was Facebook Friday, so I ordered a couple of them. And along with it, you're gonna get those make and takes that we did that week, okay? So all the make and takes are in there to go with your stamp set. I think that's a pretty good price. I don't know. I think it's pretty good. All you have to do is share on Facebook. Um, and if you share to a private group, or you share it in a um, like a Facebook message. I can't see that, so you need to make sure to comment shared, okay? All right, let's get started. You guys, today, I am using things from the holiday catalog that you can't order until September 4th. And I'm using things from the current annual catalog, and I'm using something from the clearance rack, which I was, I, 
don't look at the clearance rack very often. Um, and for some reason I was looking at it and I saw that the mini treat bag thinlet is still on clearance. And I was like, we are using that. I love that die. And it retired, I don't think it was, was it last year? I can't even, everything blurs, everything runs together. It feels like it's been gone for a long time. So we're gonna use that today too, okay? All right, let me turn the camera around. I don't have a fancy way of doing this, so close your eyes so you don't get seasick. Um, one thing I do wanna tell you, let's see if I can do this without knocking the microphone off this week. Last week I just almost destroyed the microphone. I may have to unplug the microphone to plug my phone in. I saw my mom is on here. Hi, mom. I um, We did a FaceTime this morning. You know, she's building a house here in San Antonio. And we did FaceTime. We had some, a walkthrough with a builder. And um, I forgot to plug my phone in <laughs> when I came back. So it's like at 50%. So you guys keep your fingers crossed and let's hope that, we'll stop shaking. Let's hope that it lasts. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to, I'm going to have to do some kind of crazy work with the cord to get it plugged in. But anyway, okay, let me get everything adjusted. Look, you guys, sneak peeks. Um, my friend Kay Cogbill, I don't think she's on here, but she's so funny. She commented just a minute ago on my post. I'm switching my iPad around, so hopefully I can see your comments. They're, they're here this week. Last week, I could not see any comments at all. Um, I was trying to find sports themed um, treats and I couldn't find them. And she just commented that there was some really cute uh, sports chocolates at Michael's. And I, didn't, I haven't been to Michael's in a long time. So if you're looking for sports themed chocolates, Michael's is the place. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do three, two 3D items and a shaker card, okay? All right, this is the stamp set and it's called For the Win. It is in the annual catalog. And it's really cute. I really like this style. Uh, I'm looking for tape, so I can tape this down so I don't knock it off. So hold on just a second while I scrounge around. My daughter, oh no, I was gonna blame my daughter, but here it is. You know if something disappeared, it's the kid's fault. Um, I like this style of stamp. I don't know what you call this, but you know it's bold and it's kind of cutesy. It's not real um, detailed. I like this. I think it's easy to stamp, easy to color, and easy to use. So um, I will tell you, I have never been an athlete. I was a dancer, <laughs> not any of this. Um, but my kids are much more athletic than I was. Um, one plays tennis, which there's no tennis ball. The other plays volleyball. There's no volleyball. <laughs> and then the little one, she's still deciding, but she's a uh, volleyball too right now. But these are some really good fall sports that are coming up. Um, soccer, of course, is always popular. Um, basketball and then the football. Now, if you don't have kids or you don't have kids in sports, there's also tailgating, which is coming up right tomorrow is the beginning of college football, I believe. I am a Baylor Bear and our first football game is tomorrow. So that's the direction I went in, okay? Um, with all these fun sports, even if you don't play sports or your kid doesn't play sports, there's always um, opportunities to use these. Um, the first thing we're going to make, remember, holiday catalog, September 4th. This is the mini curvy keepsake box. And you guys, I meant to make a regular curvy keepsake box. You guys know, you, I'm sure you know the curvy keepsake box. It retired and everybody lost their minds because we were super sad. It's, it was super easy to put together. It doesn't hold too much um, and it went away. Well, surprise, we have a new mini curvy keepsake box and the curvy keepsake die the mini is one piece right um the old one it was just like these three and you had to cut two of them out so now it's just one swoop through your die cut machine which is awesome if you're making a whole bunch of them and look what it comes with really cute stitch tags boy i'm telling you the stitching is so popular right now. Everything coming out with stitching. Oh, mom says that style is called graphic style. Okay, all right, I call it cute. 
<laughs> it's cute style. Um, but good. My mom's an artist, by the way, guys. So that's how she can always inform us of any of these things we need to know. Um, so the Curvy Keepsake box, it is, I would say, 30% smaller. I, I wish I had, because I have my old Curvy Keepsake die. I wish I had cut one out to show you. But I do believe that it is about 30% smaller. I think you could get four Hershey Kisses in here maybe. So love it that it's not gonna cost you a ton to fill it, right? Um, that's a problem sometimes when it costs us too much. We're gonna make the football one, um, but before we do, I wanna point out how I changed these up. This one, I used a retired embossing folder, um, the hexagon embossing folder. I can't remember the name, but use what you have. And of course you can just leave it white. You don't have to emboss it, um, but that's for the soccer one. And then for the basketball one, I used the uh, subtle embossing folder. And I feel like I probably could have done that on the football too, but on the football, I used the eyelet lace embossing folder. All right, all right, let's get started. Let me pull over. Hi, Gina. Gina, thank you so much for my card. I got your card in the mail yesterday, and let me tell you, it came at just the right time. Do I have it? I should show you guys Gina's card. It's beautiful. Here it is. So pretty, and her little magnolia um, is shimmery. Thank you, it's so sweet. I love it, thank you. Okay, sorry, I feel like I have ADD today. I'm jumping all around. Let's cut out our mini curvy keepsake box and then we're gonna emboss it. We're gonna do all of that first and then we'll just make the tag. All right, so I'm gonna die cut first and I will tell you that it's a tight fit in the embossing folder, okay? And I'm gonna show you what I did um, to get it to fit. So this is a six, mm, five and three fourths, maybe six by six piece of card. So you know what, I don't wanna tell you wrong. Let me make sure because I think you can only get one out of a full sheet. No, I lied, it's five and a half, you guys. Five and a half, so you can get two out of a full sheet of cardstock. Yay, we always like that, right? That's probably another reason it is the size it is because Stampin' Up! thinks about these things. Okay, so now I'm gonna take out my magnetic platform and get my regular platform. And it's kind of funny that I chose the eyelet lace embossing folder for a football. Um, but I was trying to get that texture. You know, it has that really weird texture. Um, but look at what you have and see what you can use. And again, you guys, it doesn't have to be embossed. So don't feel like it has to be exactly um, how I do it. Now you can see it's not gonna fit in here perfectly, but almost, I feel like the most important are these right here because those will be on top of the other one. So I wanna just make sure and that one too. One of them will be hidden by the tag, but you can get it in there. The handle doesn't necessarily need to be embossed, but you can get it in there almost all the way. See how it's just peeking out a little bit? This is not one of our 3D embossing folders, so we don't need, or we do need two um, clear plates. We don't need the new one. That's just for the new 3D embossing folders. All right, so there you have it. Now I like to take my bone folder and kind of curl these guys, if that makes sense. And they do come together better if you have stuff actually in them. Um, I'm gonna fold these. These, you know, I think that the Curvy Keepsake box, not only is it cute, but I think that it was popular because it's so easy. See how I'm just kind of lightly running my bone folder under that? And then fold these handles back. And we bring those together and bring one over and one like that. And that's it. So simple, right? So simple. Okay, good. It's good because it's simple because you know me, I gotta make the tag not simple. <laughs> well, it's not that complicated, but it has embossing. So it's not that simple. Um, we're gonna stamp Let's see, we're gonna do, we've got the gold foil. Let's do that part first. This is gold foil, it is in the catalog. Um, every time I use silver or gold, someone is always confused. Like, where do you get that paper? Well, it's it's in the catalog. 
I rubbed it with the embossing buddy and that uh, releases all the static so you won't have any um, powder sticking where it doesn't need to stick. And I'm gonna stamp that in Versamark. Versamark is like a clear, juicy ink that em uh, embossing powder will stick to. I'm gonna emboss it in gold embossing powder on gold cardstock. Another thing you can do um, if you find that you have those little sprinkles stuck where they don't need to be is to keep a tiny little paintbrush near your, your craft space so that you can just kind of carefully um, brush them away because even those that stick where they're not supposed to will turn into shiny gold where you don't want them. <laughs> And I'm just gonna heat, heat it with a heat tool. And you will see once it starts turning shiny, it is done. All right, looks good. We're gonna use that again in a minute. Now we're gonna fussy cut. I know, I'm hearing groans from the back. You don't want a fussy cut. And then those of us that sit at the front, right, we like to fussy cut. <laughs> it's not too bad. Just go around with your smallest sharp scissors. These are called paper snips, and you can get these from Stampin' Up, $10, and they are worth their weight in gold. My kids, my little ones especially, um, hate, they get really irritated by tags in their clothes, and let me tell you, these scissors are the perfect seam ripper when you need to rip seams around the tag out. You know, sometimes the jeans have it sewn all the way around. These are perfect. So get, get a pair, $10. All right, now we're gonna stamp, and I can't remember, what did I stamp the football in? Okay, Memento Black. That's why it's here. I actually was prepared. So Memento Black, um, and let's do the pennant. I love the little pennant. These would be good if you do craft sales. I haven't done a craft sale in a few years, but um, Kirby Keeps Egg Boxes sold wonderfully at craft sales, craft fairs. So if you do craft fairs, um, these are really, really good for a craft fair. Okay, you could do all the sports and then all the moms would come by and they would buy them all and it would, it would help them. They wouldn't have to make a snack the day of the snack. All they would have to do is fill it with chocolate, <laughs> right? Let's make it easy for them. All right. I wish that there was a tennis ball and a volleyball, obviously, but I can still use them, um, use this set. I could just leave the ball off. Hi, Barb, thanks for joining. All right, so that was light soft suede. Now I'm gonna take dark soft suede and I'm gonna go around the bottom because the shadow on this ball would be close to the ground if it was sitting on the ground. So that's what I'm gonna do. Soft suede I think is my favorite brown that we have. It's a good chocolatey brown, but not too dark, right? All right, so I'm taking that light and just blending that color up. Now I'm gonna take Poppy Parade and I'm gonna use that bullet tip. And I like to sit down to color, so excuse me. Nope, you know what? I'm not gonna use the light. I'm just gonna use the dark here. Excuse me if my head is in the camera at all. I'm gonna carefully go around these letters. Um, well, I didn't do a very good job. I'm standing up. I have to sit down to color. Now on the, um, oh, that doesn't look good. Well, we're going with it. On the soccer ball, I used Call Me Clover. And on the basketball, obviously I used Pumpkin Pie. Um, but you could, whatever your team colors are, that's what you could do. Now on the next project, you're gonna see the Baylor Bears colors. That's where I went to college in Waco, Texas. And so we are green and gold around here. 
my daughter's high school is navy and gold. So we do navy and gold too. But for the football, I did green and gold. This one I just did poppy parade and gold. Okay, now we've got a circle and we're just going to layer these on with Stampin' Dimensionals. And I think we can use a big one, but we probably should use the little, the mini dimensionals. Thanks for sharing, I appreciate that, Barb. Right here. And hey, you guys, while I'm doing this, I wanna throw this out to you. So next week is our catalog kickoff, or well, it goes live on Wednesday, right? And I usually do Facebook Live on Friday. I will probably stick with Friday next week. I, I'd like to do it on the day that the catalog goes live, but I'm not sure I can actually get it together by then. I've got a lot of design work I've got to do over the next week. So um, tentatively, I'm gonna say we're sticking to Friday next week. Um, but I would love to know what you wanna see from the new catalog first. So next week, my Facebook Live will show you know new stuff from the holiday catalog. So tell me, what is your favorite from the holiday catalog? What do you want me to, to design with? Um, I won't just do one stamp set, probably. I'll do a, a you know, a, um, sampling of several things from the new holiday catalog. So let me know. You can either say it here, or you can message me, or you can um, email me. Now this is Poppy Parade ribbon and I have cut the edge off of it so it's not so thick. I also like how it does that. It's kind of messy looking. And yes, this is a masculine project and it has a bow, but you know what? It's a messy bow because of those fibers, so I think we're okay. <laughs> See how I justify these things? If you feel like that's not masculine enough, you could do twine. That's kind of masculine. All right, now, I was gonna tie this here, but then I remembered we can't do that because then they can't open it. See how this part, it opens up? So on that side, that's where we're going to stick the tag over here. It's gonna look like it's tied on, but it's not gonna be tied on. That way they can get into it without taking that tag off. Okay, so you just put it over here like this, and then they can open it like that and it stays stuck, okay? Um, and then a mini glue dot like this. And there you go. Some cute tailgating treats or football team treats. How fun and cute. Let's look at the other ones real quick. Here's the basketball, which I did that with uh, Stampin' Blends. And the soccer ball doesn't require any coloring. Cute, right? This is pumpkin pie, but I used um oh grapefruit um grapefruit grove ribbon they coordinate well okay all right what do you guys think so cute right i love it okay let me put all of this over here and we're going to do the next project which is uh, i think it's my favorite the next one boy i made a big mess um for this next project i was looking for the little debbie football brownies. Have you guys seen those? The little Debbie football brownies? Um, I have seen them before, but this time I couldn't find them anywhere. And that's why Kay was telling me because I had messaged her and asked her if she, if she had seen them anywhere and not yet. So I don't know if it's too early, which I don't think it's too early because football's starting or if maybe they're just not making them anymore. But that's okay. She told me, uh, Michael's, the checkout, there were some chocolates she said about the size of like a Hershey I mean a Reese's egg so that would fit in here but I just got the regular brownies and they fit in here too the only problem with these around here is that football season starts and it's 187,000 degrees outside so those would melt <laughs> so you're gonna have to be careful hopefully those of you up north you've got nice crisp football weather okay so we're gonna make another treat bag I think these would be great for game day for um tailgating um and you could put anything in here you could even do like a um i have uh my ring needs to be fixed um you could even do like a trail mix or you know a little bag of popcorn or something in here now i'm using lots of different stuff here 
first off, I want to point out, because I know there's somebody out there yelling, that's retired, you can't use that. But guess what? This die, this is the mini treat bag die that did retire quite a while ago. I feel like it's been, oh, you know, a couple years, but it may have just been in May. But it's on the clearance rack for $23. Four dollars, and it has more than this. It has some other cute little, like a star and a, a strip of stars, a strip of hearts. It's a really good one. So you need to get that before it's gone, because you know once things sell out on the clearance rack, they're gone forever. Um, but this is what it looks like, and um, it goes together really well. But I have already cut them out, and I'm going to show you. I did it in Call Me Clover because I wanted it to look like a football field. And I got a little creative, and I will full transparency tell you that I had to make several before I got it right, but I think I've got it right. The one thing I realized is if this stuff isn't perfect, and you can see mine's not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, right? I mean, it's in the background, and this is really the focal point. Um, this kind of sits in the background as your, um, your background. So don't be too hard on yourself because this is gonna require a ruler, and I know some of you are gonna like, oh, that's gonna be too hard, but don't worry. All right, before we put this bag together, we're gonna do the, the, um, the numbers for the field. What time is it? Okay, I need to speed things up a little bit. So this is the front of your bag, right? And the sides fold over like this. And I'm gonna start over here, and I'm gonna, this is a chalk marker. If you haven't bought a chalk marker before, you need to add it to your next order. They're like $3 um, and they're really fun. Um, and I did notice they are on the low inventory list. So if you want one, act quickly. They're, I mean, they're not selling out, they're coming back, but if you need one soon, get it soon. All right, so I'm gonna make, I'm gonna start, let me double check myself. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna start at one inch right here and I'm just gonna put a little dot, but then I'm gonna skip an inch and a half. Okay, so one and then two and a half, and then again an inch and a half at four. That's gonna give me enough spacing um, to put those letters on either side. And I just realized I need to grab my grid paper because this will help us get a straight line. Grid paper is another thing that's in the catalog that sometimes we don't even notice. And it's really helpful. For one, it protects your work surface, but also it's got all these great grid lines. So I'm gonna line this edge up with just one of these lines, it doesn't matter which one, and I'm gonna take that dot and I'm gonna line it up with that line, it doesn't matter which one, this is just helping us line up our ruler. And I'm gonna put that ruler there and there, see how it's on this side and that side on that line, and then I'm gonna take my chalk marker and draw a line, okay? So I'm gonna do that over here, make sure it's straight on this line, then get your ruler line it up with the, whoops, line it up with that grid line and do that. You know, it's not real dark. I think my, actually, my uh, chalk marker is running dry. So I have to do a couple of swoops. Uh-oh, my ruler moved. All right, well, maybe that's the 50 yard line. <laughs> it's really thick. Okay, let's do this one down here like this, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so there, we've got three lines, right? Now, don't, we're not done with this, we're coming back, but first we're gonna do some embossing. I am using this adorable little stamp set called Family Party. Um, I'm gonna use these numbers, okay? And we're gonna emboss this again in white, so get out your embossing buddy and your heat tool. Sarah, that's so nice. You're so sweet. You know what? I don't feel like a star. <laughs> I've had that kind of day. Lots of mistakes happening over here. Lots of mistakes, but thank you. That's sweet. Gina, uh, I was telling her at the beginning, she sent me a sweet card this week and it could not have come at a better time. I had made several mistakes and then I got that card and I thought, okay, thank you. I needed that. All right, so Versamark. We've done the embossing buddy. We're gonna take our numbers and I'm going to start right here with one and zero. And I kind of like them overlapping that line a little bit. I looked at more uh, football fields 
on Pinterest than I cared to to look at. <laughs> That's white embossing um, powder. I looked up football filled paper to see exactly what it looks like. And there's a lot of variations. All right, so there's the 20 yard line. And last but not least, the 30. There we go. Like that. And white embossing powder. Okay, so now we can put all of those over here. Let me put the lid on it so I don't blow that everywhere. White embossing powder and Versamark is all you need for that. Heat tool again. Boy, this thing's getting a workout today. I used it in a video before our, our Facebook Live today. And uh, I used it so much that my work surface right here was hot. All right, so you keep losing me. Could you use Craft Ink, Melanie? Yes, Craft Ink. In fact, you know what? I did use Craft Ink. You're right. I didn't use Versamark. I can tell. And you know what? That I'm so glad you asked that because I'm going to show you guys the difference. Craft White, we used it last week um, to color in our unicorn. And I'm going to show you how much bolder these numbers are with the Craft Ink. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but... Uh, there's tiny little holes in between there, and it doesn't make it very solid. Um, it's fine, right? I mean, it's fine, but if you compare it to this, where I did use the white craft ink, where all those little holes were, the white ink is filling in, so it's much bolder and uh, vivid. So, good note. I'm glad you asked that, because I would not have even remembered. All right, so now take your white chalk marker, and I did not do the ruler with this. I just, you know, added these little tick marks, and I think they just need to be, you know, I don't know how many, what you need, but I'm just going to do it here. Again, it's a craft project. It doesn't have to be exactly right. And there we have it. All right, now let me show you how to put this fun little mini treat bag together. I'm so glad you guys like it. I love it too. I wish I had a tailgate party to go to. <laughs> Inside, not outside, it's too hot. All right, so that's what it looks like. And then, of course, use tear and tape. I'm using Fast Fuse. My Fast Fuse drawer is getting low, about to run out. Well, maybe in a few months. <laughs> when Right when they uh, announced they were not um, going to be carrying fast use anymore, I bought a lot. All right, so we overlap those, and then this folds up kind of like a, like a report card folder. Okay, and there you have it. Get all that little powder off of it. And there you have it, so adorable, right? All right, let's make the tag. I am using several things here from the holiday catalog, including, I feel like there should be like, ah, oh, Golden Glitz ink, pigment ink. We have it in three colors in the holiday catalog, gold, silver, and I think it's bronze. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. I know somebody out there will know. Um, did I not put that stamp on a block? Let's see. So very exciting. We have had kind of a hole where we needed, um, gold and silver gold especially gold ink and now it's back so I'm gonna because I'm a Baylor bear we got to do green and gold so I'm gonna stamp this on the right side here of my stitch label can you see it oh it's so pretty oh yay gold ink and then we're gonna stamp our football this time in did I not get the soft suede nope soft suede ink and we're gonna color it. Now, do you guys see the big star? Oh, the stars, the stitch stars from the new holiday catalog. Um, if I were not a demonstrator and I had not already purchased, done all my pre-ordering, that stitch star set would be the first thing that I would order. It comes with a stamp set too, which I haven't used because I'm not ready for Christmas, 
but the, the, the dies are amazing. Not only are there stars, there's like other things. I showed, I think was it last week, I showed the little flourishy star. It's very pretty. All right, now we're gonna, same thing that we did earlier, soft suede, kind of halfway up, or maybe a third of the way up. And then we're just gonna blend it up, blend that in. Fussy cut. Where did the scissors go? Here they are. Fussy cut. Those little Debbie football brownies, um, if you really want them, littledebbie.com has a snack finder. And after I texted Kay about them, I thought, oh yeah, duh. That's what I always tell you guys. Look on the little Debbie snack finder. And I didn't even do it myself. So you can go and type in your zip code and choose the little Debbie snack that you're looking for and it'll tell you what stores in your area have it, if it's there. So you don't have to run around looking for it. Okay, now here's our stitched star. This is the largest one, see the stitching on it? And it feels dark. Does, does it look dark to you guys down here? I have two, I have these crazy amazing lights but I think, and they each have four or five light bulbs inside of them. And I believe some of them are out. All right, so the star goes there. And yes, a bow, you could leave the bow off. If you don't think a masculine project needs a bow, you can. Does it look dark? Yeah, I think I need to get up there. The thing, I don't like changing the light bulbs because they're so bright. For me to figure out which ones are burnt out, I have to turn it on and look at it. And it, I mean, it hurts my eyes. I have to put my sunglasses on <laughs> to it. I'm not kidding, it's so bright. I have to take the light apart. Anyway, thank you for telling me. Okay, so there we have it. Let's put, where's the brownie? Tailgate treat, football, easy, do it, so cute. All right, you guys, what do you think? Can you use this? I think you can. I think it's so cute. All right, we've got one project left. No more embossing. Let me get all this out of here because you don't need it. That chalk marker, you're gonna need it. You're gonna need these dies. You want them, I'm telling you. Now, the here's the dilemma this week, you guys. So if you order for Facebook Friday, by the end of Saturday, you'll get the, um, you can get the stamp and blends for free with your order if it's $50. But if you order Sunday or Monday, that, that, um, offer is no longer. So make sure if you want those free stamp and blends, you get your order in by tomorrow. All right. Last but not least, where did it go? It's right here. Last but not least, we're going to make a card. All right. For you card lovers and full disclosure, this is a card that, I saw on Pinterest, it wasn't a Stampin' Up card. I don't, I don't even know what it was, but um, I typed in basketball projects and it was one of the things that came up. So we, I have adapted it to use our fun little Stampin' Up products, okay? Okay, let me get everything out of here. My goodness, a lot of little pieces. Here are these stitched star dies. I had to think about what I was saying. Stitch star dies. See how many little things? We used this last week on the unicorn card. You've got all these layering stars, all these little flourishes and all kinds of really cool things. So I have done some of the cutting ahead of time, but we're gonna cut that big one using the biggest and then the second biggest. I'm um, no, the third biggest. We're not using the second one because that makes it too skinny. The third, okay? So use the one that's nested inside. And let me make sure, yep, see? If we use that second largest, then the sides of the star are very, very thin, and it makes it um, hard to do what we wanna do with a shaker. Okay, and you can run these through together like this. Now, if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan, this looks like a Dallas Cowboys star. I am not a Dallas Cowboys fan. I'm not really any NFL team fans, but growing up, we were Dallas Cowboy fans. All right, let's get that. It, the color is Pacific Point, which is in our Brights collection. 
you know while we have this no I think I already did I think I cut everything else out ahead of time I just wanted to show you how nicely those stars cut out and they have a stitch line on the inside and the outside so the inside star left stitching around that that inside why does that look too skinny I did it it's too skinny what did I do let's do it again I used the wrong star still I used the wrong star all right so let's move down one it's not the second largest it's not the third largest it's the fourth largest all right all right well we can still use that star on a non shaker card let me grab some cardstock here we go looks like I used this scrap <laughs> the other day okay let's try that again it needs to be thick enough to hide the foam adhesive strips that's why that other one was too narrow we could probably get away with it but it would be kind of hard all right there we go now that looks right all right i'm going to put my dies back on here so you can see which ones they were all right here's the largest and then the fourth fourth down all right now let's make our shaker i have done some cutting ahead of time because i knew this would take quite possibly take a little while I cut a the same size, the largest one, um, in Whisper White, and I cut a window sheet. This is another one of those things that gets overlooked in the catalog. Everybody's like, I don't know, what are you using? Um, it is a window sheet, and it's on the same page in the catalog that has the gold foil, the silver silver foil, glimmer paper, all of that. Now, I'm using glue dots. Don't use glue dots when you make your card, okay? The only reason I'm using glue dots is because it takes a while for the liquid glue to dry, and we don't have that kind of time. So, I'm just gonna stick this on with glue dots. And it probably would be okay because it's not holding the sequins in, it's just holding the window sheet star to the blue star to create our window okay now let me think how i want to do this let's see if i can remember these are called foam adhesive strips and they are great for um making shaker cards okay and you only need for this you only need like one and a fourth all right i'm going to start with this one and I'm going to kind of cheat and just wrap it around. Um, I was a little bit worried that it wouldn't work, but it totally did. See how it kind of bends that? It was fine. Now you could just cut each little strip and make a point, but quite honestly, I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> Keeping it real. All right, I'm just going to wrap it around like this now if you're going to give this card to like a toddler or somebody who's going to be crazy with it okay then maybe you don't want to do it like this but i mean i feel like it's really it's fine this is what i was worried about see how it's kind of like bending a little bit there but it worked perfectly for me all right now i'm going to take this other second strip make sure that you have no you know opening there you want to bump it up right to the edge of that one Bring this and then get your scissors and same thing it cannot be there cannot be any space or your little sequins will jump right out okay all right so there we have it like that now I'm gonna pull actually nope I'm gonna do this first these are the woven thread sequence sequins assortment and you can use whatever colors you want, but this is what I have and this is what I'm using. Adds a little fun to it. Now you've got those in there. And the reason I waited to take the strip off is because I didn't want any sequins to stick to that. So very carefully, very carefully pull that off. And now take your white star and layer that right there. Push down, get a nice seal. Looks like that needs to be pushed in a little bit. And there you have it. There's your shaker. 
cute, right? So cute. All right, now, it looks like, the reason why I put white is because it just looks like it's on the base of the card, right? That's why I used white. All right, let's put this card together. First, we need to stamp those basketballs, though. We're gonna stamp them in pumpkin pie ink on pumpkin pie cardstock, and I'm gonna do three of them. And here's um, a funny story. Well, maybe it's not funny. Um, I noticed in the catalog it said to cut these out with um, the nesting circle, not the nesting, the layering circle framelits, dies that we have. Um, and I got my punch and I was like, why didn't they list the punch? The punch fits perfectly. Well, yesterday when I was making the supply list, I realized that's because this is a retired circle punch. It's no longer available. But if you have it, which I'm sure many of you do, it's the one and a quarter circle punch and it fits perfectly. So if you don't have it, use this, the, the little, um, your little framelits, your dies. There's one that matches. But if you have that one and a fourth, you know that's gonna be a lot easier. Okay, so just some orange, some pumpkin pie, little stars on the background. And then we're gonna start layering all of these things. Um, I'm going to put this down first and then I'm gonna put everything else around it, okay? Um, I'm actually gonna use my liquid Tombow so I have some wiggle room. My Tombow is almost out. I need to use it up and then get a new one. All right, so put that star like that. Make sure it's not sticking off the edge. And then let's do, I okay, I have cut some other stars ahead of time. Here is, this is Seaside Spray, our, one of our new in colors. So I've got some of that. I've got a, a pumpkin pie mini star and I cut out birthday from the well-written dies. Let's start with this. And you could use liquid adhesive, but I love glue dots. I'm gonna use some glue dots. And I'm gonna stick this kind of like that. And then we'll get a basketball and we'll put it back here like that. And how about a seaside spray star and a tiny pumpkin pie star and a basketball can go right here and a basketball down here. Now the reason I went with seaside spray is because I wanna use the new ribbon. There's new beautiful seaside spray ribbon in the holiday catalog. So that was what dictated my color choices. All right, now I've got a few little Klingons here. Let me see if I can just get them, pop them right out. All right, I'm gonna put some more glue dots, but your um, fine tip glue pen would work well for this. I'm gonna stick this right across the center of that star. And we're gonna stamp the birthday MVP here, but we're just gonna use the MVP part, okay? For some reason, all of a sudden, that looked like, um, it didn't look like pumpkin pie to me, but it is. All right, now you can get your paper cutter if you don't trust yourself with scissors, but I just wanna cut it real close really close because we don't want to bulk it up and put too much on here and then we're going to put mm, i need a little bit more right here all the way to the bottom then we're going to put some whoops some adhesive on that well we don't want to stick it to the table and put that right there all right birthday mvp and the seaside spray last but not least one more sneak peek this is seaside spray ribbon um, it's called metallic ribbon it is a quarter of an inch and it's gorgeous gorgeous all right so i'm going to trim that and it it coordinates well with our sequins that we put on the inside because those are the all the new in colors in there and we'll just put that right there. And there you have it, a fun birthday card. And I think that could be masculine or feminine, right? That could go either way for sure. All right, you guys, you know what I just realized? <laughs> I did something, I have these sitting here. 
these toothpicks. And I forgot to put the toothpick on my um, <clears throat> curvy keepsake tag. Well, you know what? That's funny because it looks just fine without it. Let me pull it back over. I uh, was missing my little, I have a little pack of toothpicks in here for these kind of things. I couldn't find it this week and my daughter just randomly walked in and saw it sitting on a, on a shelf. So I pulled it out. But anyway, look, I left it off and this is, this is what it should be like, <laughs> like a, like a flag. All right. Well, it works either way. Okay, you guys, so that's it for this week. I hope you have enjoyed these projects. They all feature for the win stamp set that you can find in the annual catalog. Remember that you can get all three of these project make and takes for free. Um, if you put in a minimum $35 order um, using this host code, if you bump that order to $50, um, by the end of Saturday night, you're also going to get a free set of Stampin' Blends and this month's tutorial bundle for free. Okay, you guys, that's it for me today. Next week is exciting. We have a new holiday catalog, so stay tuned. Um, please let me know what you want me to use from the holiday catalog next week because I'm kind of overwhelmed. I want to use it all, but I need some direction. So give me an assignment. Let me know what you want to see, and I will make sure to uh, look at your suggestions. Um, go over and get your PDF, pinkbuckaroo.com. You'll have all the supply list. Remember anything that says September 4th, that means you can't order it until September 4th. And the one that's in red, that's the clearance rack item that could be gone at any moment. Um, and all of these things, um, the uh, product shares, they end on Wednesday. Dog days ends on Saturday. The extra extra starter kit promotion ends on Saturday. And the being able to subscribe to the tutorial bundle ends on Saturday. So make sure you check all the boxes and get all the things you want before they're gone. You guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope you get to do something fun for Labor Day. And I will be back next week. Bye, guys. Talk to you later.